A new water heater is a significant investment, and it's important to research different products to find a water heater adapted to the needs of your family. One of the first things to consider is whether you should get a tank or tankless water heater. Tankless water heaters are more compact and can heat up water as you use it. Water heaters with tanks are a better option for large families since they can store hot water and reduce energy use if you use a lot of hot water. Looking to upgrade your home? We've also put together guides outlining the best dishwashers, best refrigerators, best dryers, and best bathroom heat lamps along with other appliances. The cost to install a tank water heater varies widely depending on the type, size, and the specifics of your home. Home Depot reports that it costs between $952 to $2,098, with the average cost being $1,308. This price estimate includes the cost of a basic tank water heater, installation, materials, removal of the old unit, and the cost of any permits. Tank water heaters are relatively easy to install, and installation typically only takes a few hours. You generally have to install a tank water heater indoors, as they cannot tolerate harsh weather conditions. People often choose inconspicuous locations like closets or garages to install them. However, in older homes especially, you may find a tank water heater in a kitchen. The tanks come in electric, natural gas, and propane models. The gas models will still work during a power outage. Lifespan, between 10 and 15 years. Tank water heaters typically hold between 20 and 80 gallons of hot water, around 120 degrees Fahrenheit in a storage tank. They are fairly large and require a bit of space within your home. But, if you manage to deplete what is in the tank, you have to wait until your water heater produces more hot water. According to Home Depot, the chart below can help you determine how big of a tank water heater you need for your household. If you have a timeline or budget constraints that prevent you from getting a tankless system, a tank heater may be the way to go. If your home runs strictly on electricity, you have to carefully consider whether going tankless is really worth it. The average household capacity is around 200 amps, which may not be enough to support a tankless electric heater. If you have gas, you have to factor in the cost of vending systems and additional gas lines. According to Energister.gov, a tankless water heater is probably going to save you at most $1,800 over the life of the system. If the extra costs of installing a tankless system are going to outweigh your potential savings, you may want to consider a tank system or a high-efficiency tank system. Varies dramatically depending on the type, brand, your home, and whether you are installing a new heater or replacing an old one. According to Home Depot, it costs between $2,044 to $5,898, with the average being $2,979 to have a tankless water heater installed. Tankless water heaters are smaller, so they require less space in your home. You can even install a tankless unit on your outside wall. Installation can be more difficult for a tankless water heater, as you may need to upgrade your home's electrical system to support an electric tankless unit, or you may need to run a dedicated gas line to your gas-powered unit. Depending on the type of unit, you may also need to install other equipment like new exhaust vents or new pipes. Lifespan, 20 or more years for most units, tankless systems heat your water on demand using gas or electric coils. Although tankless water heaters heat water on demand, they do have output limits on their flow rate. This means, if you're running the dishwasher, doing the laundry, and taking a shower simultaneously, your heater may not be able to produce hot water fast enough. The flow rate for tankless water heaters is measured in gallons per minute of hot water the machine can produce. Gas units typically heat water faster than electric ones. If you have gas available in your home and you can install an optimal tankless unit without too much additional cost, a tankless unit can be a great money saver. Also, if you live in an area where most of the homes are upgrading to tankless units, it may be a good idea to do the same so your property remains in competitive with the rest of the area homes, from a real estate standpoint. Point of use tankless heaters that go under sinks, near showers, or near washing machines can also be essential options for those who live in tiny homes or RV.